What is going on? AU here, and today we're bringing you the battle video of the Milotic Core team. Um, yesterday I posted the team builder of this video, so you can click uh, right up here in the top right hand corner if you want to go check that out, or it will be in the description below. Um, <clears throat> I highly suggest going to check that video out if you haven't. Um, there's some really cool synergies between this team that I explained throughout that video, but you'll also be able to see those here in this video. So today we're going to take this team into about two or three matches and um, I'm going to see how we can do. Um, I really like this team, it's really strong. Um, the bulky Pokemon in this team kind of really just stall out those turns and you'll see what I'm talking about more. But I want to actually say I got an overlay. Um, I've been working uh, for the past three or four hours on this overlay. Um, it's nothing special but I do think it, it gives the video a little bit more to look at, um, so so I think that's a good addition. Also, um, I battled my draft um, my draft league match today. Um, that's going up Friday. This is going up on Wednesday. So definitely check that out. Um, I'll have a link to my uh, draft analysis that I posted on Monday in the description below. Um, so definitely check that out if you're into that. And also if you're new here and you're like you like what you're seeing um hit the like button subscribe i'm posting pokemon videos every single day um and yeah let's just jump right into a battle so i'll catch you guys there all right so we're here in our first battle and it looks like this mr rhyme is supposed to set trip room um there's a lot of slow bulky pokemon on their side of the team and I didn't know it before, but Mr. Rhyme does, or Mr. Mime gets Trick Room, so Mr. Rhyme definitely does get Trick Room. Um, so I think here we are going to try to stall out those Trick Room turns, and we're going to lead probably Mudstone Milotic. Um, I'm actually really glad we get to show off this lead first, because this is probably one of the strongest leads of the team. And then we also want Cinderace, because Corviknight can uh, give us a little bit of trouble, and I think we'll probably run... Haxorus in the back. Um, I would run Vanillix, but the Torkoal is probably just going to stop me putting up Aurora Veil. So, here we are going to Max Quake the Torkoal, and they probably actually switch into Corviknight here. So, I'm actually going to Max Steel Spike the Mr. Rhyme, and um, I think we will probably just. I kind of want to switch in Cinderace. Yeah, so they switch in Corviknight. We called that play so, so well. Um, so now, the so Mr. Rhyme has Sash, probably. No, it, we, it just lived on one. Um, so it's such Trick Room. Not a big deal. But here, we can go for the Max Steel Spike again. And we also can go for a... Not a high jump kit. We go for... Actually, let's go for... No, because they'll just bring Torkoal back in. We'll go for Max Steel Spec again, and we'll go for a Pyro Ball on the Corviknight. So we get rid of that Mr. Rhyme. Um, they're going to bulk up, and that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> in the sun we still Oko. Um, so they bring in Torkoal and Gudra. So here's where we need to boost our special defense. Um, we're going to Max Quake the Torkoal, and... I think we probably actually no. Let's max Rock Ball because now they can't reset the weather, and um, we're gonna switch into Haxorus here. So they actually Dynamax Torkoal, so they could reset the weather if they wanted to. They go for Max Overgrowth, but we're a Salt Vest, and they're not really doing a ton. Um, we do a good 40% there, and they miss the Power Whip. So they're really they're really um, targeting the Torkoal. Um, and it's actually physical Gudra with what was that leftovers or is that just grassy terrain? Um, the Gudra, yeah, it was just grassy terrain. So here, um, we high horsepower Torkoal and we Dragon Claw the Gudra. So they're going for max overgrowth again, and that actually does a bit more because we are in grassy terrain, um, and they do KO with the uh, Gudra. So I think we want to go into Cinderace here and we probably let's just high horsepower again and then oh we don't have we don't have protect on the Cinderace. 
I actually forgot all about that. Um, we're just gonna. Okay, so now we have the um, we have the speed advantage again. So we stalled out those trick room turns, and here we probably go. Let's just go ahead and scald the Torkoal, and we'll powerball the Gudra again. Um, we get the burn, so that's good. And then after this, we should be able to take out the Gudra. Oh, sorry. So yeah, so that was a really a really good game against the Trick Room team. I actually wanted to show off the Trick Room team, um, <clears throat> but as you saw, I actually made a pretty bad play there at the end because I thought this was my other Cinderace set that I could um, press protect on, but um, I couldn't, and it didn't hurt me uh, too bad. But it could have been bad had the opponent made a different play. But now we're gonna jump into a second battle, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so it looks like another Trick Room team, and if I had to guess a lead, it would be Dust Clops and Berserker. Um, the Gigalith is probably weakness policy, and then you also have Delvis, which is probably Assault Vest. Um, Torkoal is Charcoal, and so I think here um, I might want to get up Aurora Veil this game, <clears throat> or I could just lead. Uh, Mudstone Milotic again because I think Milotic can actually stay in this game outside of um, outside of Gastrodon. Actually, no, I think I'll leave Vanillix Milotic here. And then if they bring in Torkoal, that's fine. We'll just swap out Vanillix. Um, but then we'll have Mudstone in the back and we'll also have Cinderace in the back. Okay, so they're probably going to fake out Vanillix. Um, Preserker does get fake out. And then we are going to Scald Preserker. So if they do swap in Torkoal, then we get a Scald off. Um, but I, I imagine that they're going to fake out with Preserker. And then <clears throat> next turn they'll probably actually double up into Vanillix. Here's actually the play. Here's the play. We're going to actually switch into Mudsdale get a stamina boost and we're going to scald Preserker because if that happens we'll have plus one defense and then we can Dynamax and Max Quake the Torkoal so that will give us a special defense boost plus bring them pretty pretty far down um, so they did fake out we get a stamina boost and then we're going to get a scald off maybe a burn a burn and then they set up Trick Room so here we um, max quake and I think we probably blizzard um, this actually should be stronger and I don't think I'm gonna need to spread so I'm actually gonna well actually on the fear of gastrodon coming in I'm gonna blizzard oh okay so they haze oh I forgot I forgot to actually Dynamax but that's fine um, so this turn we're actually going to Dynamax and we are going to Max Quake the Dusclops and we're also going to well actually they might I don't think they will but they might Dynamax their Delmise so we're going to do the same play and just Max Quake yeah so they have Dynamax Delmise they're probably going for like a grass move into Mudsdale um, or actually they're probably killing they're trying to kill Milotic okay um, so that's not horrible. We start getting health back on our Mudsdale, so... Here, we, um... We actually bring in Vanillix, I think. And... I don't, does Grass resist Steel? No, Ghost resists Steel, though, so... We actually Max Quake again, and we will just... I think we can get an Aurora Veil up, or do we even need an Aurora Veil? Um, I don't think we do, I think we just Blizzard here. So the Memento, that might actually stop us from, from killing this Delmise. Okay, so it did go down, that means this turn I'm free to protect on, on um, Vanillix. And who did they have in the back, they had Berserker and who was the last one, maybe Torkoal. So they have Torkoal, Berserker, okay. Um, so I'm free to, I'm actually gonna max Rockfall 
and I am free to protect on Vanillux. So they did go for the fake out. They're going for the solar beam into Mudsdale. That doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, so we're going to change the weather, and now we are faster than Berserker. Um, I think we go for the high horsepower and Blizzard. Yeah, let's go for high horsepower and Blizzard. We probably will miss. Okay, so the Berserker took the damage. Um, we get rid of Berserker. So he's actually, I think he's specs. So he's probably stuck in, yeah. He was he was specs, so he was stuck in that solar beam. Um, so there's another um, really good game against another Trick Room team. I really actually am glad that we're facing these Trick Room teams because I want to show you guys how you actually stall out these Trick Room turns. And I think I did a lot better job this game than what I did the first game. And now we're going to head to our last game. And maybe it's against like a hyper offensive team. I kind of want to get a little bit of... Um, a little bit of variety in the teams we're facing so let's see what we get all right so here's our last team and it's actually um, a similar team to what I used to have it has Sableye, um, Togekiss, and Excadrill all on it um, it also has Melodic and Duraludon the Melodic is probably there to set rain for the Verascuta um, so if I had to guess a lead I would definitely say Sableye is coming out um, I think I like Vanillix and Mudsdale here. And then probably Milotic and Cinderace in the back. So we'll go Vanillix, Mudsdale, Milotic, and Cinderace in the back. So they lead um, Milotic and Sableye, they're probably going to Dynamax Milotic here, but I want to protect because Sableye is going to fake out, and I also want to max Quake the Sableye to get the special defense boost. So we'll see how bulky the Sableye actually is, and I feel I really feel like they're going to try to change the weather with Milotic. Um, but maybe they don't. I guess, yeah, they aren't going to max Milotic, but they do try to fake out Vanellix, and they're going to coil. So. That's not huge. That's like not a big deal for us because um, we can freeze dry. So we're actually going to set up a roar bell here, and I'm going to max quake again. Well, they could bring in Togekiss, so I'm actually going to max steel spike um, just in case they do swap out. So they encore. Um, that's actually kind of uh, bad. Okay. Um, so we're stuck into protect here. I think we switch in. Switch on our own Milotic and we'll try to max Quake their Milotic. Um, Cause Sable is going to die to hell anyways. So I think we have to stay asleep on this turn. That's actually kind of annoying. Um, they're going to coil again and foul play. We get a defense boost. So I really would have liked to get Aurora Veil up there. Um, but now they're at 2 attack and 2 defense. So I don't know exactly. We're going to Blizzard here. And we're also going to um, Iron Head the Togekiss. Um, actually, the Togekiss probably maxes. I'm going to Scald the Togekiss and. Um, high horsepower, the Milotic, because the Sogius is probably weakness policy. So we get a, okay, we get a burn. I, I really needed that burn actually. Oh, but they get a crit. That's so bad. And then they put us to sleep. So we actually woke up though, um, and we did a good bit of damage to the opposing Milotic. Um, we're gonna try to recover, and we're also going to um, high horsepower again. This is actually this game's actually pretty hard for us to win here, um, but not impossible. They just keep putting us to sleep with their melodic, and it's so dumb. Um, so I don't think either one of these Pokemon are faster than Cinderace right now. 
No, they are. Uh, we really needed to speed control them. We're gonna try to freeze dry and high horsepower again. They're probably just gonna put us to sleep though with my logic. We really need them to miss a hypnosis. They've hit three. Um, so they're definitely due to miss a hypnosis off of my logic. But if we can get this freeze dry off and stop them from putting us to sleep, we can we definitely have a chance. So they scarred. Okay, okay. So we'll get the freeze dry off. Um, and it actually doesn't kill, so that's um, kind of bad. So to get that kill, I think I'm actually going to switch into Cinderace here, and we're going to Iron Head the uh, the Togekiss, hoping that we wake up on Mudsdale, because we're going to need to come back in, and we're going to have to let the Milotic die to hell damage. So we're actually going to power ball here and um, probably we're going to protect our Vanillux. Um, so the game's not over but it's definitely, yeah, it's hard to win. Man, this was a tough game. I think I should have brought Whimsicott. I actually didn't think that they were going, I thought they were going to max their Excadrill. But... Um, they ended up maxing their Togekiss, so not the greatest game, but definitely a good game. I don't think I played horribly. It was just that the Hypnosis um, Milotic on the opposing side kind of messed us up. Um, I didn't expect it to be Hypnosis, but that's definitely something to watch out for, which is why um, I'm actually glad we got to show this in the video. But with that. I'm actually going to leave you guys here, so like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.